Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we're going to start running some wires for the kitchen. From the new breaker box to the kitchen, uh, a couple different lines and I'll explain that to you here in just a few minutes. But first off, let's take a field trip. Let me get you guys off of this and I want to take you outside. Today is Sunday, which you guys will be seeing this on a Monday. And it is absolutely beautiful outside. It's about 55, 60 degrees. And I want you to look here, if I can get my hands out of the middle of the camera. We have flowers coming up. If I can get you down there low enough. But flowers coming up everywhere. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we got flowers there, we got flowers over here, there and there, all the way down there is all flowers starting to come up. It is just a beautiful, glorious Sunday out. So now that all being said, I'll get back in here and I'll explain to you what we're going to do today. Alright, get you set back up in the tripod here. All right, so today we have our new breaker box right there, and we're going to be running some dedicated, like this one here is going to be a dedicated line. This one here is not. Uh, we're going to have a dedicated line over here into a wall that's not there yet, so we won't worry about that one. But also need to... I'm going to put a small hot water heater up underneath the kitchen sink, a little 10 gallon hot water heater, 15, 20, no, no more than 20 that'll fit. And I need a dedicated line up underneath there, but I forgot about that. As you can see, there's no box for it. So we're going to get some measurements and get that box in, and then we're going to start running lines. All right, so basically what I got down here is my roll of wire. And I'm going to come up to here, and we're just going to start one. I'm not going to worry about running it up through that right now. Does that not go all the way through? Well, I didn't run any of them all the way through. What was I thinking there? Okay, let's try this again. So basically, I want to go up through here. I'm going to use this channel that's up there that will be created when I put my uh, my wall boards up. There's going to be a natural channel created here. And that's what I want to use. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and run this one, I think, dedicated to the refrigerator. You guys can see me over here or not but get you down there just a little bit on the situation now we're going to start finding these little dudes, wire staples. Get one of these out. Eh, I'm going to get two of them out. I tend to overuse these a little bit because I want everything to be very secure. support. Keep the wire up out of your way. There we go. There's the refrigerator. Now, I'll bring the refrigerator down. 
over to here. And yes, I still forgot my linemen. So that's just going to come in here and the refrigerator, or all the kitchen is going to be run on this side. So I'm going to bring it down in here to where I know I got enough wire and I'm just going to cut it off. But now I'm going to mark it. And I'll mark it up kind of high so I don't end up cutting it off. Um, I can get ready to mark kitchen. I guess we know it's going to the kitchen. And I'll just mark refrigerator, refridge. And same thing over here. Even though I know what box it goes in, I still like to mark it. That way I don't get confused. All right. You guys got to remember, I'm doing this. Oh, let's see. The next one is going to be... Uh, well, we'll see when we get there. We got enough wire going through there. Get it back behind this. You guys got to remember that a lot of times when I'm doing this, I still have a business to run. I still have a home to maintain. And I still have children to raise. So a lot of times, the only time that I can get over here is when I am extremely, extremely tired. So that being said, I want to make everything simple. That way, if I'm over here at 1 o'clock in the morning, because it's the only time that I've got, I want things to go simple and flow smoothly. Okay, I've got my three separate breakered main powers that I wanted to run. My refrigerator, my microwave, and my hot water heater. These will all three go to a separate breaker. There'll be four breakers on this side. So that being said, I've got kind of a little bit of a mess up here, but I want to run uh, either one or two more wires. I've got to figure that out. And that's where it's going to get tricky because now I'm going to be adding a light switch on a wall that's not there. If you guys look here, this is what I did to the microwave. The microwave is going to be, remember we got a pretend wall that's going to be here. It's going to be real eventually. And this is going to drop down in the wall, come to about right here. This is where my microwave is going to be on a shelf right here. So that being said, I don't want a junction box up in my ceiling. I would rather have it come down and be one continuous run from here to the breaker box. That way there's no chance of something happening in the junction box that's hidden later on. Just my preferences. So now we got to run power. <coughs> These three plugs here can be run on one circuit. And I do believe those three plugs and the light that goes in here can all be run on one circuit. So I think just one more wire coming up through here. And that will just be marked a kitchen wire. That way I'll know that it kills my three powers for my kitchen and my light or two lights, whichever I have. So that's where we go from here. Now that will go into a junction box. Okay, so there's my four lines. We have a refrigerator, uh, one that's marked kitchen, one that's marked hot water, and one that's marked microwave. These will go to four separate breakers on this side. I know there's only three in there, there will be four. And then they go up and they stay in that channel all the way. And in here I just added a junction box, which will be my only junction box in this area, which is right here. Uh, I guess you guys can't see that, can you? Right there. And that will feed my two plug, well, my three, 
Well, two plugs, exhaust fan, and my two lights, which will be fine. Um, there won't be a whole lot in that junction box because I'll do one line going from here. There'll, there'll be a, a couple lines in there, two or three lines. And one line is going to feed these two plugs and this plug. But I want this one to be, I'm not really sure. I, I, I'm not really sure what I want to do on that. But I think I, I don't want a junction in here. So I, I would like to have just one pigtail, kind of like what I did here down there for the hot water heater. If you can see the hot water heater, I just rolled it up and put it inside the box. I don't know if you guys have ever tried, but it's very hard to point on a camera. Everything's backwards. Because I want, I don't want any break in that line. I've already explained all that. So I think now I'm just gonna go ahead and start connecting my plug boxes. This one into this one. And then maybe I'll just run two lines down into this one. That might be all right. But anyways, we'll get all of that and figure that out. And we're almost done, believe it or not. It just to do electric in the kitchen was gonna be simple. Okay, and just like that, we're done. So basically, let me walk you through what we did, although you guys are no use here for it. We got our four wires for our refrigerator, our kitchen, our hot water heater, and our microwave run up to here. All through, all tacked in nicely in that rail up there. We have one junction box here, which past this we'll have one more wire that will run the lights. And then it all goes through and stapled up in there, uh, there. And then this is gonna be for my range hood. Yes, I did leave it just long because a lot of times the range hoods out from the begin out from the front is where they hook up power. And if I don't have to have a junction in here, and what I mean by that is I don't have to use uh, wire nuts. I don't want to, I want to use one solid wire. And then down here, we got one that'll have three on it. One will be a main power in, and it's marked. It's this one right here, main power in. Then our exhaust fan, which is up there. And our plug, which is over here, um, over here. It's already run. I didn't need to mark that plug. Although, you know what, I am going to go ahead and mark that. Um, because I want everything to be simple. Okay, plug. Simple as that. So, plug on each side of the window down there. That's for the hot water heater. Once again, if you guys look, I just left it long because this I definitely don't want any wire nuts being used. I want it one continuous wire from here to the breaker box, just like the microwave. Now, up in here off this junction box, I think I just explained this, we'll have two lights. Yes, there's going to be three lights in this little kitchen. Let me get you back here and I'll explain that real quick and we'll end this video. I want a light here. Actually, there's going to be four. I want a light about right here. I want a light about right here. Uh, no, it'll actually probably come over to here more uh, because I kind of want it centered over the table. And then there's going to be a light in a box up here. And then there'll be the hood light. Uh, I think I do want to run a switch. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to do some measurements and stuff. I kind of wish I'd have done that before I, I did this box. Because somewhere I'm going to want to switch because I don't want the one over the sink to be on all the time. So when I come in here and right here by the refrigerator, I flip the lights on. I want these two lights to come on. I do not want this light here to come on. So it's going to be on a separate switch. I may just do it right here at the refrigerator. I don't know. To me, it would be more simple if I'm coming here to do dishes and say, oh, turn my light on. And I think that's what I want to do. So 
And it's probably going to go right here. I don't know if you, yeah, you guys can see that. It's probably going to go right there. Be tricky to get in there, but I think I'm going to do that. But I don't have to worry about that until I'm doing the lights. So all in all, there we've got one, two, three, four, five outlets in. We're hardwired. We've got a junction box up here. So we're ready to go. That can all be insulated. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I can insulate that whole back wall now. Yes, sir. I'm ready to start getting started. So I don't know if that's what we're going to do next or if we're going to continue on with the wiring. I like the whole four and four. Four is going to run that, which all four of those will be for the kitchen. The rest of them will run the rest of the house, including the bathroom, which is only going to have one or two plugs. That's it, and a light, and a light switch. You know, that's nothing. So give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and real quick, since we're only at 16 minutes into this, I want to address some, I don't know, we'll, we'll worry about that on another video. So anyways, all of that being said, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below, like, and please subscribe. And when you do, smash that bell notification, Go up and click all so you'll be notified every video that we make. And share this on your social media pages. That really helps our, our YouTube channel grow. And speaking of, of uh, social media pages, follow us on Facebook. General Vlog Video on Facebook. And also, if you ever want to help YouTube creators out, not just me, but any creator that you watch, if you want to help their channel grow, just watch the ads. That really helps the channel grow. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, an even better tomorrow, and an awesome night, and we'll see you on the next video. And hey, I may have my kitchen wired in, but I'm still my own camera guy, so you know what that means. we got to get up close and personal, and I get to poke you in the ear to turn this camera off. We'll see you on the next video. Have a super great day.